How much did Hurricane Burial cost Grenada? Well, just about its entire economy. I'm Kalila Reynolds, founder and CEO of Money Media, Money Made Simple. So Grenada's thriving economy has been wiped out by Hurricane Burial just as the country was on a path of sustained growth. Almost a week before Grenada suffered a devastating blow from the storm, the IMF had acknowledged that the country's economy was experiencing a golden age. As a matter of fact, we even wrote and recorded a whole story about it, and by the time we were ready to publish, everything had changed. Just two weeks ago, the IMF reported that Grenada's tourism sector was booming. They had low debt, a well-funded government, and a healthy budget surplus. Last year, Grenada's economy grew by 4.4% and inflation fell by 2.2% with food and fuel prices down. And that trend was expected to continue. But on July 1, Grenadians received an unfortunate shock with Beryl's catastrophic hit. Preliminary reports are that the hurricane destroyed over 90% of the buildings and roads in Caricou and Petit Martinique, two of the sister islands that comprise the state of Grenada. But although it's a difficult time, there are institutions helping them to rebuild. So far, they've secured 44 million US dollars from the Caribbean Catastrophe Risk Insurance Facility, CRIF. There's another 5 million US from the UN and 1 million US from USAID. Plus, right before Beryl, Grenada was basking in a surge in revenue from their Citizenship by Investment Program, CBI. In 2023, the country earned over 382 million EC dollars from the CBI. That's over 140 million US dollars. But are these earnings enough of a buffer against the current economic challenges? The irony is the IMF previously warned Grenada about depending too much on tourism and CBI income. They cautioned that a natural disaster could significantly impact tourist arrivals and potentially damage properties linked to the CBI program. Then Beryl entered the chat. The CBI program, by the way, is controversial, but it's one of the major factors behind Grenada's success. The program was established in 2013 to attract foreign investors to make a significant economic contribution to the country in exchange for citizenship. It offers individuals and their families the chance to become Grenadian citizens by investment in real estate or the country's National Transformation Fund. But like I said, it's controversial. A 2018 article by Reuters noted that for those engaged in illicit finance or other forms of illegal activity, the new passport gives them a new identity. A Grenadian passport can give you visa-free entry to 130 countries, including the European Union, as long as you have the minimum 150,000 US dollar investment. According to Reuters, nationals of China and the Middle East are the biggest buyers of Caribbean citizenship, but Grenadian authorities say applicants have to go through a rigorous vetting process. Now, while Grenada has some financial reserves, the full extent of the economic blow from burial, well, that still remains a little bit unclear. The storm's impact on infrastructure, agriculture, and tourism could significantly turn back the island's development clock by years and that's the bottom line so what do you think especially my grenadian viewers will grenada bounce back relatively quickly because of citizenship by investment and is it worth the risk let us know in the comments download my free money dictionary the link is up here and in the description let's get this money let's get this money <laughs>